you might have visited the craft store once and saw this little white bottle hanging on the shelf labeled liquid clay. And you might have wondered, what the heck is this for if there's already solid clay and clay softener on the market? Why would I need this? Well, hold your creative socks, my friend. There is so much you can do with liquid clay. First, let's take care of the elephant in the room and answer the question, what is liquid clay? Liquid clay is just polymer clay in the form of liquid. That's all it is to it. End of video. Just kidding. Liquid clay mimics regular clay in how you bake it and the result is strong and flexible. However, you can do some extremely useful and wonderfully creative things that would be difficult or near impossible to achieve with just solid clay in your arsenal. Liquid polymer clay is generally known as an adhesive to bond pieces of clay together, whether it's raw to raw, baked to bake, or baked to raw. And it's often used as a way to help condition and soften crumbly clay because it contains plasticizer. And if you watched my previous video on polymer clay safety, you learned that plasticizer is what holds the clay together, softens it, and makes it pliable. Now that I've discussed some of the general applications for liquid clay, let's get into some of the more creative and fun things that we can do with it. Creative applications for liquid clay. You can use liquid clay to make image transfers as a sealer for many different media such as foils, leafing, transfers, and beads. Laminating paper as glaze or grout in projects. You can use it on its own or combine it with solid clay or in conjunction with other media. For example, you can coat regular clay with liquid clay and then apply iridescent flakes to create an opal effect. You can think of liquid clay as an art form in its own right to create fall effects, layers of textures or patterns. Some examples include making charms, pendants, bracelets, hair clips, mosaic, butterfly wings, book covers, beads, flexible pattern sheets to fit into bezels, decorative tiles, mirror and window clings, various other shapes by pouring them into a mold to create jewelry and pieces for home decor. Okay, so I want to go over this because I remember standing in the craft store squinting at the words translucent and clear and could not figure out the difference. Doesn't translucent mean see-through? What does clear mean? So I know it's probably obvious for some of you guys, but for me, I had to look it up. And translucent doesn't mean that it's completely 100% see-through, but is semi-transparent. It's often used to create multi-layered effects. I think the easiest way for me to describe this is to think about a raw gemstone with dimensional textures where you can see additional details beneath the surface layer, but you can't completely see through it. When translucent liquid clay is tinted, you can create fall ceramic effects. And it also works better for image transfers compared to clear liquid because it is slightly opaque. With clear liquid clay, it creates more of a glass-like effect. So for projects where you want to see through the clay, you would use this. Also, some people like to use this as you would use resin to encase art forms or small objects. Tinting liquid clay. While some liquid clay brands come in multiple colors like Sculpey and Kato, you also have the option to tint liquid clay to make whatever custom mixtured color you want. This gives you a wider array of possibilities. You can tint liquid clay by mixing it with any of the following. Oil-based paint, alcohol ink, pastel chalk, or pigment powder by adding a few drops at a time until the desired effect is achieved. Alcohol inks must sit on top of the clay until it evaporates before you can mix the color. Applying liquid clay. To apply liquid clay, you can pour it directly from the bottle. Optionally, you can use a fine tip extension for precise application, or you can use the flat end of a toothpick. You can also use your fingertips or a synthetic brush dedicated for clay usage. For detailing, you can use the pointy end of a toothpick, needle, metal stick, or thick wire to drag the clay to create swirling textures. If the liquid clay is too thick, you may apply a thinner light clay softener. To remove liquid clay, use a Q-tip with 70% alcohol. Where to buy liquid clay? Generally, you can buy liquid clay at your local craft store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And if you don't find your desired clay there, you can go online. I like to use Amazon as my next resource, and I can put links in the description for my recommended liquid clays and supplies. If you don't already know this, both craft stores have a 40% coupon, which you can find on the homepage of their site by clicking something like weekly ad. And that will save you a good portion because liquid clays can get expensive if you use them often for your projects. 
I will go into a more comprehensive study on each of the popular liquid clay and the differences in my next video. But here are some of the ones I recommend, the cost, and where to get them. Femal liquid clay, also known as Femal Deco Gel, is one of the clearest liquid clays and currently sells on Amazon for a little less than $12 for a 1.69 fluoride ounce bottle. And this is the best liquid clay for bonding pieces of clay together. And it even works better than Sculpey Bake and Bond. Translucent Liquid Sculpey, which is great for creating multi-layered effects, can be purchased at Hobby Lobby or Michaels for $9 for a 2 fluoride ounce bottle. They also have Clear Liquid Sculpey, which is almost as clear as Femal Liquid, which also sells at $9. Kato Poly Clay is a great economical choice to use as an art medium or conditioner and it dries pretty clear but not as clear as female liquid and it can be purchased at Hobby Lobby's or Michael's at $7 for a 2 fluoride ounce bottle. Thanks for watching till the very end. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and good luck on your next project.